Hello, and welcome to another episode of Dragon Dreams. My name's Ivan, and uh, today I'm going to be talking about... Um, I think that there's this concept that somehow back in the old days, people were a lot you know, more prejudiced or something like that um, than they are now. In fact, um, Wizards of the Coast put out some sort of disclaimer saying, you know, like, like back in the old TSR days, it was all like this, you know, bigoted, you know, whatever, something or other. And um, I just wanted to debunk one thing. I can't speak to absolutely everything that, you know, the old TSR D&D did. Um, but, uh, but I would like to submit as evidence that Gary Gygax was not racist. Um, some information from the fantasy world that he made, World of Greyhawk. Um, this is the second, um, the second ever campaign world for for um, or setting for Dungeons and Dragons, or the first if you don't count Blackmore. I mean, Blackmore was a very very early setting, um, and uh, so. So this is what I'm referring to. This is the um, the box set, or it's a book from the box set um, that came out in the 80s. And I'd like to read something here. So, characteristics of races inhabiting the Flanese, which is like the main continent. Okay. And he's actually using the word race the way we use it today in the sense of different human races. Already, he's not talking about, you know, elves and dwarves and halflings and stuff. Um, there are few pure racial groups extant on the Flanese, save perhaps at the fringe areas of the continent. Of, um, uh, but humankind, as is its wont, is industriously intermixed in the central regions to form a hybrid type, which has actually become the norm. And he has different um, racial groups. There's the Baklunish, who have um, gold-hued skin. There's uh, the Flanai, who have bronze-colored skin. Um, there is the Iridians, who have skin tones ranging from tan to olive. Um, I think there's like a very dark-skinned group as well, but I can't can't find them on short notice. Um, and there's the Suluis who are, you know, more, um, I think it's, it's the Suluis, who are more fair-skinned. Okay, so you ha have this idea that there's, a, there's various different groups. Um, that have different skin colors originally, but then what happens is that they intermix substantially to the point where you can't really tell them apart quite so easily. Like there, it, there aren't these pure races. There's this very, very intermixed um, group. And he mentions also that, the fair, that fair-skinned people are very rare. Like, there's the uh, Barbarians of the Northeast. Um, there are some islands off of the east coast of the main continent. Um, but apart from that, there just are very few... It's very rare to I meet mean, an actually fair-skinned person. Um, so what he's basically saying is, to use modern parlance, um, the vast majority of people um, in the main continent of Greyhawk are basically people, people of color. Now, it's true that he has um, certain areas that have a Western feel to them. There's castles and, you know, lords and, you know, dukes and counts and kings and queens and, you know, knights. And there's sort of a medieval Europe kind of feeling, in other words. Um, but it's a fantasy world. You don't necessarily have to have, you know, the European, European-ish part of the world populated by fair-skinned people. I mean... Um, it's okay to mix it up a bit. I mean, of course, he he you know he wants to have 
castles and and you know lances and knights and all that kind of stuff because you know that's the type of stuff you know sort of you know lord of the rings and that kind of thing that's sort of you know um the sort of fantasy that 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 he's um kind of focusing on um Although there are other parts of it, there are, I mean, there have always been in D&D, there have always been, you know, different parts of the world that are very much not European as well. Um, um, but, uh, you know, the, um, but the interesting thing is that even in the sort of European style fantasy portions of the world, um, he actually has what are essentially people of color. Um, in much the same way that you know you might find in in I mean, what I'm imagining is something much more like maybe like Latin America, where you have you know originally there were like native natives of you know indigenous people from that area that are are brown skinned, and then the Spaniards came in, and there's you know it's intermixing right, and there's still people who are very fair skinned in in Latin America, even people with blonde hair there are people who are very dark skinned. Uh, there's a whole range because there's been so intermixed, right? But they're all Latino. Like, they're all, like, I think we'd all consider them, you know, basically, like, people of color today. Um, and I think there's that there's that same sense of, a, like, a very, very, you know, mixed race um, uh, kind of thing. And I have to ask you, just how racist do you think, you know, a guy is who deliberately puts a thing into his game to have, like, not very many white people in it? To like to like actually want to have a fantasy world that's primarily people of color. Um, I mean, this is and this is nothing new. I mean, um, if you look at say like Ursula K. Le Guin's um, Earthsea books, for example, um, most of the people there are brown skin because you know it was written back in the '60s and Le Guin was trying to you know say, well, why do we always have to have, you know, a European-style fantasy world? Why not have, you know, a world populated by brown-skinned people? Like, you know, let's let's kind of make a point here. Like, you should have, you know, trying to, like, you know, sort of change and kind of mix it up a little bit, right? And I think Gary Gygax was also, had that same, you know, concept. Um, so, you know, again, I can't, obviously I can't speak for absolutely everything in TSR and I'm not saying that there was never anything that was prejudicial or you know whatever um, you know racist or sexist or you know anything like that because you know um, I don't know absolutely everything about everything they put out but I would just like to submit this for people's thoughts to just think that you know it seems to me that Gary Gygax was a fairly non-racist guy I mean he's fairly trying fairly hard to um, to avoid racism in his game um, so that's all I have to say about that I know this is a controversial hot subject um, if you have anything to say if you disagree with me um, I hope that you'll do so politely it's it's fine with me if um, you have any opinion you want. It's a free country. It's a free world. Human beings are inherently free, I believe, in, in fundamental human rights. Um, so you have a right to your opinion. Um, but I hope that you'll express it in a polite and civilized way. Um, and uh, I hope um, you've enjoyed this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like it and please uh, pass it on to others. Um, if you're enjoying this channel, please consider subscribing. And um, thank you very much for watching. And uh, happy gaming out there.